And right now, Crime Stoppers pleading with the community to come forward with information tonight to help solve last weekend's deadly shooting that took the life of 13 year old Prince Holland. This is Action News Jacks at 5. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. Two others were also hurt in that gunfire, including an 11 year old. The victims were on their way back from football tryouts. Action News Jacks, Jake Stofan is live downtown. Jake, you spoke with Crime Stoppers today to try to help the community understand how this program works. Yeah, I did. And the point that Crime Stoppers kept hammering down on is that these tips are completely anonymous. By calling, you stand, uh, you're, you have nothing to lose, but if your tip does ultimately lead to an arrest, you could be entitled to a big reward, especially in this case. Prince Holland's life was cut short at just 13 years old after gunfire rained down on the car he and three other youths were being driven home in from football practice last weekend. His mother, Chantel Brown, left heartbroken and without answers. And that was a beautiful child, a beautiful soul. He didn't do nothing to nobody. Nearly a week after the shooting, only four tips have come into First Coast Crime Stoppers. Executive Director Wiley Hodges says he doesn't understand why more information hasn't come through. And particularly when you're talking about the type of crime that they were, they were dealing with. Hodges says leaving a tip comes with zero risk. Crime Stoppers doesn't even know the identity of tipsters, only the number they're assigned. You can get a subpoena and try to trace it. If you're law enforcement, you're not going to get it. And if your tip leads to an arrest, you'll get paid. $1.7 million has been cleared to be paid out for tips since the program started in 2002. Crime Stoppers is offering $9,000 for information related to the murder of Prince Holland. The money would be available to pick up at a local bank. All you have to do is provide the number assigned to your tip. I think it's 90 days. So it's not like you got to run down there tomorrow and do it. Since Hodges started with Crime Stoppers, tips have helped solve 127 local murders, including the murder of five-year-old Kyria Addison, who was killed in crossfire in North Jacksonville during a fight in 2020. When the program works, all we ask is for people to use it. And here are the ways you can contact Crime Stoppers if you have any information, no matter how insignificant it may seem, related to the shooting this weekend. You can call 1-866-845-TIPS, visit fccrimestoppers.com, download the P3 Tips mobile app, or you can simply dial star star tips. For local coverage you can count on live downtown, I'm Jake Stofan, Action News Jacks.